by indirect expenses and direct expenses. The direct expenses, if we if we get to the um, department contribution, this is going to be the amount that is going to be contributed basically to what might be thought of as overhead type of amounts. And then we apply out the overhead for certain types of decisions, but other types of decisions we need to understand that the overhead is an applied number, whereas the direct expenses are direct to the departments. For example, if we were making a decision on whether or not we should terminate a department, whether or not it's, it's a profitable department or not, then we might use this department contribution number a lot because we know that this would be the number that would be eliminated. If this was a loss, then it could be the case that if we eliminate the department, then we might be better off as a whole. However, if the total net income for the department is a loss and this is a positive number, then we have to see if some of these allocated items that we are allocating to that department would be items that we can eliminate or not. So this is one reason we break this out in this format. Then we have the indirect expenses. These are the amounts that we're going to allocate. So that's going to be the rent, the utilities, service department, total service department two, the total indirect expenses. Again, these are expenses that if we were to eliminate one of the departments, we possibly would not be eliminating these expenses or at least not all of them. Because when we allocate them out, it's just an allocation that we're using. We're just using an allocation to, to allocate these costs that may be there even if the department was not there. It helps with some decisions, but we need to keep in mind that it is simply an allocation. And then we're going to have the net income. We calculated the net income just on the totals here and not on uh, the allocated amounts. So we're just showing the net income on the totals. We're emphasizing here the department contribution in this case, in this format. 